Hi, welcome to this uh, quick overview of uh, 1989 Cutlass Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra uh, wagon. Uh, purchased this a few months ago. Uh, it's been a great vehicle. I love station wagons. I love the unique American nature of a station wagon. I'm not ori originally from the United States, but I can certainly appreciate how beautiful these things are. Uh, this thing has 122,000 miles. Uh, it, this is in the state of North Carolina. And there's absolutely no rust in this thing whatsoever. Not underneath, not around the sides, wheel wells, nothing. There's no rust. This thing body is in near perfect shape just a few scuffs uh, there's a spot right here on the bumper or there's a crack on it but other than that the body is just unbelievable um, this uh, I was told that it belonged to an old lady and she kept the she, it it was inside of a garage most of its life so there's no signs of clear coat peel off nothing I mean this thing is uh, it has a brand new set of tires. It has a uh, half cups. The, I love these uh, wire mesh. I know they're not the real deal, but they do look nice. Uh, this bad boy is sporting a 195 series 70 R14s. Uh, they, this thing rides perfect on the highway. CD driving. I mean, that's just got the four-speed automatic also so it shifts beautifully let me show you around a little more this one came with the towing package I'm not sure if that's a factory or if it was installed afterwards but I'll show you what it looks like the doors the seals they're kind of coming off here so that's uh, something that can be changed uh, I'll show you the front seats it's got the bucket seats in the front oh, the, sorry I, I guess I should say the bench seat it's got the bench seat on the top and I'll show you it's got the yeah. oh. Excuse my bag over there. Uh, I mean, as you can see, the seat has uh, all the power adjustments uh, except for the back. The back is still manual, which is kind of odd. But you can go, you can adjust the front part, the rear part of the seat, and you can go back and forth. It's got all power options. Window switches, lock and unlock. Everything works great. I'll show you. It's got the old school speedometer with the speed and big numbers. It's got a fuel gauge on the right side. It's got the light switches on the left. But other than that, uh, we are just thinking with two sets of keys. I think I have an original set right here. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. They look original, and these also come from General Motors. So let me see the square key. You know, these 80s cars, the square key is the one that starts the engine. So let me see. It's got all the dummy lights. So I'll start it up. I'll keep, I'll keep shut. Idles. Great. No check engine light on. I have a full tank of gas. The radio works just fine. Uh, the only thing I can think of, I think these antennas are supposed to go up and down, but that one might be stuck in the up position, but it's fine because I've been able to use the radio okay. I have a cigarette lighter on oh, my iPhone charger now connected to it. And I have the front passenger love these seats so it's great feel great 
and it's the center console right here I put the two cup holder one the there used to be a single cup holder but I, I changed it out to a double cup holder from the junkyard that's that This uh, the only spot that I regret having is uh, the right passenger seat. The person who owned it before me, uh, they used to haul batteries around, and apparently the acid from the battery got in the back of the seat when the seat was in the down position and ruined it. Uh, that's the only thing that I regret. See a cigarette lighter in the back of the driver's seat I'm 5'9 and I'll show you I think I moved it when I am uh... so this is where I would be driving 5'9 and I'll show you what the back seat feels like this is the back seat my knees I kind of almost touched the front seat close the door the inside otherwise is almost near perfect doors are all perfect and all I got I have all the door mats excuse the pants laying around just wasn't planning on filming this video um, then uh, the headliner is sagging but I feel like that's a normal thing these old GMs uh, let me show you with the seats I'm laying down so you push the pin and the seat comes down and on this side the same thing now the seat comes down and I'll show you what it looks like let me go around the back and I'll open the hatch and show you the business end so some GMs you can open the glass independently that's glass you're welcome to just open the glass if you like. And I got another spare tire on this one specifically. The actual spare tire is the donut style, and everything is in there the jack and the hardware. And actually, I, I'm assuming it's been used before, maybe not, you can tell. But I know when I bought it, it came with another spare tire which I want to say this is probably the set of wheels they had before. Anyways, this is a flat space. And I'll show you, let me push that wheel out of the way. So we've got plenty of space back here. Let me close this. We're trying to pull the right, the whole gate comes up. Struts are holding up great. I forgot to show you on the window, the strut is also holding up pretty good. Got another ashtray. Got a little compartment here. With a couple lights and all the other cover. This cover used to go right here. That's right. There we go. That looks good. So, like I said, this is up for sale right now. I'm asking $17.99 or best offer. Uh, let me show you that. This is why we love fish bikes. This is the third row, faces the rear. You can sit two people. You have spaces, you have space for two, maybe uh, two teenagers. Just small adults, maybe even. But uh, let me go around the other side. You can see the seat at. Let me really see with the sun. But there's the seat. There's a little bit of the tear that leaked from the battery. 
from what I told you earlier happened to the passenger seat. It's a shame, but it does not affect the functionality. Let me show you. Excuse me. My mess. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Let me show you what it looks like. Adult. I'm a regular size adult. I've got close this hatch. Uh, maybe not all the way. I don't want to get stuck in here. But when this is shut, you can see there's plenty of space. You have small vents in the back. Children and people can get some air if they feel claustrophobic. On both sides, they both work just fine. Sorry. You get a decent amount of air. Um, I wouldn't try riding with the glass open because uh, anytime you stop, it might slam shut and hurt somebody or break. So I never tried it. Back here, you got a little light. It works. Same thing, the headliner is saggy. But uh, we got plenty of space, as you can see. We got a lot of space on 5.9. And there's some dry rod from the plastic from this uh, rubber piece. Uh, I've seen uh, all the ones that I see, like like this wagon, either the Chevy Celebrity or Pontiac Safari or whatever the other one is. Uh, oh, um, Buick wagon. Uh, these are usually gone, so I was very surprised to see that this one still has it. Usually you'll just see a hole to the ground. This up, and to retract the seat, you just uh, push the this pull from this handle right here on the right side, and it will collapse on its own, which is pretty neat. You can lock it if you want to lock it. So anything in the back, you can do that right there. Let me show you the engine. What's the business then? And there we are. This uh, this has the 3.3 liter General Motors. Um, anything everything I read about these uh, I never heard anything bad about them just like the 3.8 uh, they have the leak around the valve cover I feel like that's pretty common I have a Honda Civic and it's the same thing there's a leak around the cover gasket there's a throttle body power steering pump alternator was replaced recently Radiator, battery, brakes are great. Uh, what can I say? All six cylinders, distributor going to all the different spark plugs. But that's the 3.3 sitting sideways. It's a front wheel drive. Means being that this is the Sierra International wagon, this was just double the line back in those days, so it does have the four speed auto, and it's amazing. I want to take you guys for a test drive. Oh, let me turn the engine on and I'll let you hear it right now. Golden key, shine. Oh, I forgot to show you the blower motor for the AC. Unfortunately, the AC doesn't work right now. The blower works, heater works. Uh, I know this is R12. I was planning on switching it to the new standard, R134A. But since I'm selling it, I'm just gonna let the next owner do it. I was driving it in the summer here in uh, Charlotte area. North Carolina and it was fine it was just a little hot at times because it's uh, summer in the south 
I was gonna start it for y'all. Sorry. There we go. Fires right up. And even a hole. I don't great. No problem there. It seems like it's supposed to. They replaced the turpentine belt a couple months ago so it's brand new. Very easy to work on. I really don't want to get rid of the car. But I have too many cars and really this has been my toy. And I let somebody else enjoy it. Power steering or steers, no. No noise is coming from the power from the steering pump. Everything else is great. So I uh, thank y'all for our first drive. North Carolina titles ready to go. Just notarized it, so it's ready for sale. So, this, like I said, it has the overdrive transmission for speed. So we're gonna go around the block here and I'll show you. But I love these wagons. This is not the first wagon I have, but this is the first truly American wagon. I've had Ford Escort wagons before, but I mean, they're basically essentially just a, uh, I think they're a European Escort uh, made for the Americas or anyways, I'm a short drive around the parking lot of the church. ride so smoothly guys I really don't want to sell this wagon but I realize I have too many cars and I need to finance some of my other endeavors therefore this baby is gonna be making another person happy Let me give you one last Walk around. It is immaculate otherwise, guys. This thing is in perfect shape otherwise. So I'm very happy. For whoever gets to... Thank you for watching this short walk around. I hope you guys have a great day.